He comes out from under my bed at nighttime or when the lights get turned off. Let's just get right into it. So this couple bought a new home and in the very beginning, they thought something was weird. As a matter of fact, as soon as they moved in, uh, their three-year-old son told them that there was a little boy in the house. He didn't just say that. He also said that this little boy comes out from underneath his bed at night or whenever the lights get turned off. The parents thought that he maybe just had an imaginary friend and left it at that. But then there was a day where they started hearing footsteps on the second floor and all three of them were on the first floor. He says that he doesn't remember the reason, but they decided to name this little boy Miguelito. He said that they're just trying to like normalize it so that they don't get freaked out or whatever. So they also mentioned that when the mom was alone in the house and she felt scared, she would just say it out loud, Miguelito, please don't scare me. You know, don't appear in front of me. And from afar, she could hear him laughing. The weird thing was that the husband would do the same thing by himself. If he felt scared, he would speak out loud and tell Miguelito not to scare him and he too would hear a little boy laughing from afar. However, when they would tell each other these things, he would never laugh when they were alone together telling him to stop. So basically they would only hear him laugh when they were alone asking him to please not scare them. <laughs> Personally, me, uh, one, probably wouldn't talk to him, and two, probably would never be home alone if that was the case. So there was one day where the husband was going to work, so they were both awake very early in the morning. And the husband had gone up to get something before he left, but when he came down the stairs, the wife said that she noticed how pale and scared he was, but he was trying to pretend like he wasn't. So when she saw that, she was like, what's wrong? Like." What happened? What is it? He admitted to her that when he went up to get something from the bedroom, as he was walking back past the their son's room, he saw Miguelito sitting on his son's bed. Oh my God, I got chills. <laughs> no, because why do I actually have chills? He, he said that he could swear that Miguelito was sitting on his son's bed, facing the door, and he swore that Miguelito was smiling as he passed like straight at him. Ah, no, wait, why do I have chills? I can't. <laughs> so being that Miguelito was sitting on their son's bed while he was sleeping, they both decided to go up those steps and go into the bedroom and just simply say, look, you can stay here as long as we do not see you. If you don't listen to us, we're going to call a priest and we're gonna have this house cleansed. <laughs> it's, it's them talking to Miguelito for me because I don't know, I don't think I could do that. I feel like I'd be so freaked out. Like, would I have the guts to even go back up there? Oh, I don't know. So after they told Miguelito that, basically saying that do not appear in front of me, if not, we're gonna call a priest and we're gonna have this house cleansed. That right there was the first moment both of them together heard Miguelito laughing. <laughs> so they said that after that, things did calm down, but also they had been trying to leave the house as much as possible because they were terrified at this point. So that same weekend, they realized that they had an event to go to and they had to go because they had already told the people they would be there. So uh, Vanessa, the husband's cousin, was gonna come and take care of their son while they went to this event. But the husband remembered that Ever since Vanessa was small, she was the type of person that would hear things, see ghosts, and basically, you know, she could tell when something is there. So that day, Vanessa shows up, and mind you, they had not told Vanessa anything. Um, she shows up early because she was gonna do the wife's hair and makeup, and almost as if Miguelito knew that Vanessa was there, when Vanessa was doing the wife's makeup, they started hearing someone on the second floor. So once they started hearing all those noises, um, they look around, the little boy is there with them. The husband had gone to do something. So it was just Vanessa, the wife, and the son there. And basically the wife had to tell Vanessa what was going on in their home. Vanessa tells the mom that she didn't want to tell them anything because she didn't want them to be scared. But the moment she stepped foot into their home, she saw a little boy from the second floor like kind of peek over to see who had gotten there. She said that all of a sudden Vanessa got a really sad look in her face and that she got closer to the mom to like whisper something to her so that the son wouldn't hear. So Vanessa whispers to the mom that the little boy has a lot of blood on his face. She also told her to not give it attention or talk to the little boy. Basically, don't do every fucking thing you were doing this entire time. <laughs> 
The mom said that as Vanessa was telling her, don't give it attention, don't do this, she noticed that Vanessa would touch her shoulder, her back, and she would be, she would just like be touching herself all weird until she finally said, this little fucker is touching me. <laughs> well, it's in Spanish, so, he's, so she basically said, me está tocando este cabrón. Yeah. Uh, oh, I got chills again, no. The mom said that at that moment, Vanessa went storming up the steps, like, stomping hard as if she was about to scare the shit out of Miguelito. Once she got up those steps, she started cursing at it. And if you guys don't know, I, well, I can only speak for like my culture, but they say that when you start cussing at things, like they leave. So she was cussing up a storm up there. The mom said that when Vanessa finally stopped cursing this thing out, the house got silent. Like she thought that she could almost just hear her heart beating because of how quiet it was. So Vanessa was finally coming down the steps and she realized that she might have scared, you know, the sun more than Miguelito up there. So she felt a little bad. So as she was coming down those steps quietly, all of a sudden they started to hear something else. Something that was not Miguelito. Then, after they hear that loud, like, roaring noise, they hear a heart slap. That was when Vanessa fell from the freaking stairs, touched her cheek, and just ran out of the house, leaving, you know, the mom and son there. Obviously, when the mom sees this, she grabs her son and runs after her, you know, leaving the house. She met up with Vanessa, and Vanessa refused to go back into that house. While Vanessa is crying, she tells the mom, the little boy you have upstairs is nothing, because the mom is downstairs. The mom said that when she said that, she was looking at Vanessa's face, and her cheek was so red, she finally just left without saying another word. So the couple who wrote this story in it basically says that there is no end to this. This is the reason why they're writing the story in because after that, they hear the kid more often. Sadly, they're now starting to see the kid more often and they don't know what to do about it. And at this point, <laughs> they are not getting after Miguelito for appearing in front of them. They're scared because of the mom. They don't want to say anything to Miguelito because their cousin got slapped. Imagine if they started screaming at him or worse. They basically said that that's how things are and have been for a while. When they wrote into this po podcast, they left him with their contact information in case anyone can help them. Meaning these people are still living in that house and now they're terrified of getting after Miguelito because they're terrified of what the mom would do to them. And this is a story that I got from Relatos de la Noche. Of course, I translated it from Spanish to English. Here is where the video is if you want to listen to it in Spanish because obviously it's scarier in Spanish, but also if you have a way of helping this family, please go and leave it in the comments. Like the fact that they're still living there, they can't move out. Like they just can't. And they're trying to get the help that they need. Um, I don't know. I'd be so scared. I wouldn't even know how to help. But yeah, I'd also be even more scared of the mom. I mean, she slapped Vanessa and Vanessa is used to seeing things. Refuses to come back to their house, by the way. What would you guys do? Oh my God.